So you're in the BIOS and all of a sudden your computer freezes. Whoa, you know something's seriously wrong when your computer starts freezing in the BIOS, right? So uh, if you're one of these people like me who had bent motherboard pins, this video might be for you. Welcome back to Tech Air City, ladies and gentlemen. This is Barank. I'm back to you guys today with a video on bent and broken motherboard uh, pins and what you should do if you ever come into this problem or this situation. And now this video is going to differ a little bit to uh, bent and broken CPU pins. And if you guys didn't know, AMD, they use pins or they put the pins on the CPU as opposed to Intel, generally with their motherboards, they have the pins on the socket or the motherboard. And so this means the big difference here is that if there's a broken pin on the motherboard, you generally can't fix it, you're out of luck. Just hope and pray, if you do have a broken pin on the motherboard, just hope and pray that it isn't a crucial pin and it's needed in order to work. However, uh, the CPU on the AMD side, if there's a broken pin, uh, if you guys haven't watched Linus's video, you can actually, he actually managed to put, get the pin, the broken pin, put it in the socket and then put the CPU in there and it still worked. So that's the big difference, though for what it's worth, I came into my X99 motherboard here in the background and when I first got it, uh, it was, man, there were some serious problems going on. So basically, I was in the BIOS uh, and things were crashing in the BIOS. And generally, if things start crashing in the BIOS, you know you've got a hardware problem, basically. Uh, so what I did in this case was the fact that it just freezes completely and it did this in Windows as well, when you get complete freezia of your computer, then what you wanna do is you wanna look at it and it's most likely going to be the CPU because it can't even process a blue screen of death. And so in this case, I took everything out, I looked at the, um, I mean, I tried all the other standard troubleshooting things before I did it, but I then took out the motherboard, looked closely at the socket, and I noticed there was two broken pins and one bent pin. And so I had to proceed to bend that, uh, the bent pin back. So before we get onto this though, I will say one thing, and that is only do this as a last ditch attempt. For me, this is a review sample. I had nothing to lose. Uh, so I did try to do this first. However, if I bought this as a brand new product, I would have shipped it back for a replacement straight away. So again, only do this as a last ditch attempt. You've tried everything else and you've noticed you've got some bent CPU pins, you can't replace it, then you might wanna give this a shot. Uh, but what, for what it's worth, I managed to have a UD4 X99 motherboard here already uh, and so what I did was I put these motherboards side by side and then I could get a good a real close look uh, with macro photography at the CPU pin layout and that gave me a guide and I could see that two of the pins were broken though they were touching the other pins so I managed to get these broken pins sort of out of the way and then it took me about 15 minutes but I slowly used this little pin here it's just a wall pin with a little nice grip there. And I really took my time to bend the pin that was in the bottom region of the motherboard socket uh, back to its original position. And thankfully, uh, the two broken pins weren't crucial. I'm guessing they were in the um, power delivery region of the motherboard socket. Uh, the bottom pin bent back to normal and everything works perfectly fine. Uh, before I did the review, I managed to get this uh, motherboard, so I managed to give it a good run make sure that this problem wasn't um, affecting anything anymore. And so thank God it was working really well. So in conclusion, all I can say is if you're going to try this, seriously, do it as a last ditch attempt and you've tried everything else. And then uh, also while you're doing it, really be careful, really take your time. For me, as I said before, I took about 15 minutes to do this uh, and I bent the pin, uh, the bottom pin back in and I managed to get those other two pins out of the way. Uh, for me, I was lucky to have this other motherboard here where I could use it as a refer. Uh, reference f photograph. Uh, however, you guys, if you don't have another motherboard, you may wish to get a picture off Google of the socket and then just line it up and compare it. And so put all the pins back to normal if you can. Um, so yeah, that's about it guys. If you have any questions about bent or broken motherboard pins, then please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll come back to you guys very soon with another tech video. Bye.